Hi guys, here's going to be our look at the 15mm ancient stuff as we promised uh, last time. So what we've got is Plastic Soldier Company Ultracast Gaelic Army. Um, we got kind of fair, fair, fair toodled, which is a good Scottish word, about the uh, ancient stuff. Um, the Alexander the Great and the Macedonians, the Greeks, the Persians and the Indians etc. So we're going to carry on with that and we're going to take Alex all the way through beyond Persopolis all the way to Asia and then um, see how we get on with that. But while that's an ongoing project we also thought it'd be quite interesting to do some uh, some Celts versus Romans as we live near Melrose which is uh, obviously the site of Trimontium itself. We figured that we could actually fight some ancients in our local area. So Angus has picked Romans to go with, Ivan and myself have got Celts uh, and we've just kind of got to split it up, see if somebody else will jump on with uh, with Angus in the in the kind of Roman part of the project. So what have we got? Uh, this is the £35 box set from Plastic Soldier Company. We got it in the Black Friday sale, that was whole part of kind of, we pulled the trigger early, we were going to wait till next year, so we got this for I think 28, 25, 28 quid, so not too bad. So what do we got? Not much info on the box. Um, let's see what it has inside. Okay, so no pamphlet or anything here, which is a bit of a shame, I do like that kind of stuff, and let's... Open up our pack and see what we got. Alright. So, first looking at them. <laughs> Reminds me of Finecast, um, I've got to say. Um, which, uh, you can think what you like about that. I was never really a fan of it that much. Um, However, these don't look too bad for the 50 mil. Some mold lines there, mind. Um, okay. Okay, let's see what this one's saying. Riders, difficult to see. Apologies for that. Um, seems like kind of plasticky, resiny, rustic. Uh, I'm, I, don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of that or not. Uh, the details there. There is going to be work on them to do, mind. Um, but you get what you pay for. So I mean, if I'd paid thirty-five quid, mind, I think I'd be a bit peed off. I don't know what I want though. <laughs> I just missed the heft of the metal, I think. Maybe it's this is the future. You know, with 3D printing and everything else, this was possibly just going to be what things are going to be. As simple as that. This is going to be the future of stuff. Um, it's very similar to... Very similar to Finecast, mind. Except it doesn't seem as brittle, but it seems bendy. But that could be a good thing. Uh, command, guys. Yeah, you see, that's, I mean, that's, that could actually be helpful. The bendability, if you like. So we've got a good few figs there. Um, what have we got? Three mounted command. I take it's all the same horses. Looks like it. Uh, all the same horses. All the same horses, it looks like, yeah. Uh, guy. He must be a command. No, you're just a guess for this. For us as well, we can just actually just make things up. So you've got three mounted command, seven foot command, uh, twenty one noble infantry, forty two warriors, six noble cav, twelve unarmored cav, four slingers, and four javelin. So we'll just be basing this up, armati size, DBA size. So we'll we'll figure it out and sort them all out. We got a couple of boxes each, so we should have plenty to get us going. Um, I don't think they're too bad. I think I'm just a bit. I just think I miss the the heft of a nice bag of 50 mil metal stuff, which is always quite nice. 
Uh, just feel a little bit feel a little bit strange because they just reminded me of a uh, 170 second scale airfix stuff for the price but there you go that is the way it goes so let's have a look at a chariot then okay these are quite odd uh, they come in like a kind of what you would imagine a kind of my children get these crap blind bags and this is exactly what this looks like it should have a stupid kinder egg crap in it <laughs> that kind of junk However, it can't be a blind bag because there is a tiny little window down there so you can see what you're getting. So we'll pull this up. Nice handy rip open job eight. Is it going to be that easy? Yes. So let's pull her open. Okay, so... Yep. Couple of horses, couple of chariots. Now for that, to me... That's that's eight quid. That that just seems a bit gold. I just it just doesn't feel right. Four pound a chariot just seems a bit. Four pound for that. Four pound. You think? You think? I don't know. But apparently chariots are dear. I could just. I mean, this is fifty mil. I'm quite new to, so I mean, it's all a bit. All seems a little bit expensive to me. I mean. We still need to buy bases for all this stuff as well, which is, thankfully, we've got a guy called uh, Vital Ground Creative who's been pretty good. He's been cutting us the bases for all these. But it's just an added expense for 15 mil that you kind of don't don't really consider. Um, but somebody getting into it, they kind of need to remember that it isn't just this. There's no slaughter base here and things. You I mean it's all to all to glue together, and it'll be it'll super glue same as metal because it's this kind of funny rustic stuff. However, I, I'm pretty. I think. I think. I think I'm pretty happy with the fact that we got it in the in the sale. Albeit we didn't get the charts. They sadly weren't in the sale. Yeah, that's got quite a lot. Of, looks like release agent on that. They're kind of white. You maybe can't see it on the camera. Um, but I'm pleased that we got them in the sale. I think if I'd got that box for thirty five quid, uh, I'd pay in the postage on top. I think I'd be kind of going, what the hell? Especially when you see what you know what can be done with other other ranges, um, but time will tell. We'll glue them together. We'll wax some paint on them uh, and see what's happening. There's a unicorn there. Looks special, special unicorn. Um, these ones don't look too flashy, as in mold line flashy. But I mean, there's, there's some nasty bits of crap to do down there and then there. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll give them a bash and have a look. I mean, he's going to be a a bugger to try and sort out. But I mean, you're not going to snap any. Uh, you're not going to snap any spears and things off. That's for sure. But we'll see. We'll, um, as I say, we'll glue some together, paint them up. I mean, the detail looks pretty good. So I mean, these are going to. I mean, I've not got time to do do these as much justice as they probably deserve. So they will just be getting scraped up, contrasted, and then thrown into the front line uh, to do the usual kick ass and take names which these may or may not probably not so I uh, I'm not too sure what to think yet we'll have to do some cleaning up and have a look afterwards but anyway thanks very much that's a plastic soldier company ultra cast stuff so uh, aye, there you go Thank you very much, uh, and I'll see how I get on with these, and we'll see if we can get another video up when I get some paint on, and maybe get some Angus's Romans up, see how he's getting on with his. Okay, thanks very much. See ya.